sophisticated. Everything a modern kid needs. Like a homework doing machine. Saves time and effort and is a huge hit with the other kids at school. A lost thing finder for those pesky lost socks. Hiya, fella. Welcome back. Even a plate that eats your veggies for you. How's the broccoli, Tracy? Wonderful, Mum. Like nothing I've ever had before. Glad you like it. You can have some more. Uh, Great. Ready for takeoff, Tracy? Go, Seamus! Seamus! Seamus, are you okay? No worries. How long was the flight? 3.2 seconds. Yes, a new record. Next time we'll break the four-second mark for sure. Seamus always looks on the bright side. That's why we're a team. Like Batman and Robin, or socks and underpants. So little time, so much to invent. You must reckon it's fun being me. It is, except for one thing. Everyone in my family calls me Shrimp. Shrimp? How can they call me Shrimp? Here, yeah, I'll get it. Bent propeller blade by the looks of things. You okay, Tracy? It's not like I'm short or anything. You? Short? I'm not, am I? No way. You, you're just not as tall as everyone else. Yeah, right. What? No matter how many times I measured myself, I couldn't deny what the whole world knew. The giraffe never lies. Everyone's growing except me! Even my little sister Megan is taller than me. I've grown out of my old pink top, so I guess you'll have to wear it. Mum's going to buy me a new one. Other kids have to wear hand-me-downs, but I get hand-me-ups. It's so humiliating. Don't be too upset, Tracy. Pink looks good on you. Pink looks good on poodles, Seamus. Tracy McBean is not a pink kind of girl. Hey, watch it, McBean. We're walking here. Yeah, we're the pedestrians. <laughs> oh, just what I need, the McConnellys. You can't boss us around, Jim. We can walk anywhere we like. Anywhere we like. But we were here first, shame us. Right, Jake? Yeah, we... Yeah. No, we weren't. Well, we were almost first. Like, if we had been here earlier... Yeah, we were almost. We chose to come late on purpose. Yeah. So, technically, we were first, sort of. Right. Yeah. If you guys are finished, we've got a life to live. Yeah, sure. No worries. See you around, shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> got a beauty, eh, Jake? Why, yes, Professor. I applaud your cunning plan to tease and belittle her by reference to her vertically challenged stature, Jim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, Jake, you should stop talking so much because I heard of this other guy who talked like you so much like that and his tongue fell out. And people were picking up his tongue and just licking stamps with it and stuff. That's the final insult, Seamus. Even the McConnellys think I'm short. Ignore them, Tracy. What would they know? You're smarter than them any day. Seamus was right as usual. Why should I worry about being tall? I've got brain power on my side. Now, class, what's the capital city of Italy? Oh, oh, Mrs. Comedy! Mrs. Comedy! This is Carmody! It's Rome! Oh, me, 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 me! Yes, Jim McConnelly? Um, is it Rome? Correct, Jim. Well done. Ah, oh, thank you. Everyone says not to worry, that I'll grow too. But no one ever tells me when. Well, I'm sick and tired of waiting. I'm an inventor. I'll invent a way to make myself taller. <laughs> Let's see if I've got everything. The rods off Dad's extendable window washer, Mum's old gardening gloves, the TV aerial off the roof. Hey, 
What happened to the TV picture? My brother Gordon, TV addict. I'll explain later. Meanwhile, try reading a book. What? All that was left was to put it all together. This was going to knock Seamus's socks off. All that was left was to put it all together. This was going to knock Seamus's socks off. No offense, Tracy, but aren't you taking this tall thing a teeny weeny bit too far? Teeny weeny? There's nothing teeny weeny about Tracy McBean. But uh, because with her Tracy McBean extender leg stilt and telescopic hand stretches, I will be short no longer. Okay, who wants to see a slam dunk where your feet don't leave the ground? Come on, throw it to me! Throw it to me! Throw it to me! Whoa, 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 whoa. I see! Uh, well, uh, basketball was never really my game. Get me down, Seamus! Help! Sport wasn't such a big deal. It's the playground that really counts. Now they'll notice me. I could hardly wait to see what Mrs. Carmody thought. There's something different about you, Tracy, but I can't put my finger on it. Have you got new glasses? I kept finding downsides to being so tall. Hey, Tracy, hurry up, will ya? Ow! Ouch. Even in class, things didn't quite go according to plan. No! Who knows how many legs a centipede has? Oh! Oh! Mrs. Cummings! Oh! <laughs> Seamus, but instant height has not been an instant hit. Don't worry, Tracy. Now you know what giraffes have to go through every day. Maybe. But right now the battle might be lost, but the war is far from over. I would build the Tracy McBean stretching machine. I'd check myself, stretch myself. More sand here, less sand there. It was going to be perfect. You're crazy, Tracy. You can't use that. Why not? It's like some old-time torture device. Relax, Seamus. The Tracy McBean stretching machine is a simple system of ropes and pulleys attached to a series of sandbags. Sandbags? Seamus, the answer to my problem is so obvious. I'm surprised I didn't see it before. What are you talking about? I never really wanted to be tall. All I wanted was to be taller. Right. And while I sleep, this will give me those few extra centimeters where it really counts. Where it really counts. Being taller. Hey, look who's here. Hi, Hi shrimp. shrimp. I think they're talking to you, Megan. I wish I was tall like you, Tracy. Maybe one day when you grow up. Mental note. One leg's still shorter than the other. More weight on the left leg sandbag next time. Next time. Next time. For two whole weeks, I used the stretching machine. Now for the big test. Okay, Seamus, give me the news. I'm sorry, Tracy, but you just can't stretch yourself taller. It's not logical. It's not scientific. It... It works. What? See for yourself. You're taller than you were before. Tracy McBean is short no more. Tracy McBean has grown! Yeah, me too. What? Yeah, I'm taller as well. But, but that's impossible. No one else has used the stretching machine. We didn't have to. Kids grow all the time. We've just all had growth spurts. Growth spurts? Maybe that's what happened to you too. A growth spurt, but that's, that's... Normal? So much for my stretching machine. Still... Extra centimeters are extra centimeters. Look, everyone, I've had a growth spurt. And Megan hasn't. That's not fair. Mom, I want a growth spurt too. Yes, it was a great day to be alive. I know it sounds crazy, 
But somehow the world looks slightly different from higher up. Okay, Tracy. Ready for takeoff? Anyway, tall's not that important. Not when you're about to fly. Three, two, one, blast off! Go for it, Jeebus! Yes! Jeebus! Jeebus, are you okay? How long? 4.01 seconds! A new record! We broke the four second mark! I knew it, Seamus! We've turned the corner! Today, four seconds. Tomorrow, the Pacific Ocean. All right, all right, everyone. Room. Just step back and give us some space. And prepare for greatness. The McConnelly brothers. I'm hogging the skateboard say? ramp again. I hate to say it, but Jake does know some pretty cool moves. Okay, cheer. Yeah. Now go for it. The Connollys are probably the best skateboard act in town, and they don't mind rubbing your nose in it. Woo! That's my boy! What? Did something happen? That was good! Seamus? Ah, uh, good for nothing! So excited by so little. My boy could do better than that blindfolded, hands and legs tied backwards at night. I could? Uh, are we talking dare? Talking dare's easy, but do you want to do dare? Do we do dare? You dare to dare we dare. Uh, isn't that right, Jake? Actually, a dare is an immature response to assert one's supposed superiority by the means of a foolish display of reckless bravery. Let me do the talking from now on, Jake. We're in. What's the prize? You name the prize, I'll name the dare. The easiest way to trick a McConnelly is to ask them to come up with an idea. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. The losers have to be the winner's servants for a week. Homework, <laughs> chores, oh, and clipping of toenails. Yeah, yeah, the toenails. No problem. <laughs> now for the dare. In this town, there's been a dare greater than any other. It's the darest dare ever to be dared. <laughs> you mean... To ride down Mount Massacre. That's never been done. It was. Once. They say his name was Doug. One dark and stormy night, he tried to ride his bike down Mount Massacre. They say that all they found of him was his nose. What happened to him? No one knows. And noses tell no tales. That never happened. No, but it's a good story. Mount Massacre it is. Yeah, we'll see you there. Uh, Tracy. I can't ride down Mount Massacre. I never said you had to. My cousin Mikey is coming for a visit, and he's a professor of skatology. He's a legend, a sultan of skate, a skate boom master. So he's good at skateboarding? He's the best. Ride down Mount Massacre, where he could do it in his sleep. We are going to have a pair of McConnelly slaves. Mikey's plane's just landed. He'll be coming off at any moment. Mikey? Mikey! Oh dear, Mikey, what happened? Are you okay? Does it hurt? Can I ride on your cast? I'm okay, honest. I just had a little accident on a skateboard. That's nothing. I'll be out of this in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? This can't be happening. How, Mikey? Well, how did you do it? Well, uh, I, um... Well, it was one of your landings, wasn't it? Okay, okay. So, I don't land so good. I've told you before about your landings. Well, I was trying a new trick. A, a super spinning skate ridiculous. Very difficult. Get out of here. What do I say, Mikey? It's a disaster. What are we going to do? Give me some time, Seamus. I need to think. But they'll have us for breakfast. We'll be their slaves. I know, I know. You got us into this, Tracy. And I'll get us out. I hope.